Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here and welcome back to more Defender's Quest, Valley of the Skull Munchers. Last time we looked at another hermit and then the ladies of the team went out on an adventure. It went better than expected for a small crew. Today, an old man and a lunatic set out to chase down shiny things. Let's go. But first, we check out something that I really wanted to show off just because it amuses me. And away we go! Expert mode in New Game Plus mode. Time 16 speed. And nothing, absolutely nothing, will go beyond Snova. At best, they may reach the water once or twice, but other than that, new. Nope. This is my favorite stage in the game for this sort of thing. And with that, we are done! Nothing got beyond the water, and that is awesome. It serves no purpose, you don't really get much from it. But it's just fun to do, it's a nice little novelty because it's a super easy stage. Now let's go back to chasing shiny things, shall we? Into the shadows. While well, Azra and Hitala are gone, Slag and Yendel are spirited away by a mysterious woman. Ooh, this is where we start getting an important character showing up. What do we got here? Yeah, last time... I was probably able to fit this stage into it, but I was a little bit hesitant because I wasn't quite sure what we were up against. What with the shadowy guys that are hard to hit. Oh. Because once we hit advanced and extreme, we get coming from four places, and that's gonna be... That's one of those things where you need either really strong gear or probably extra recruits, and as I only have the two, I'm going with normal for now. What just happened? Ah, must have been Azra. I knew they wouldn't murder stuff without me. But she's only ever drawn those near her. This can't be... Hmm, not exactly what I was expecting. Hello, mysterious attractive woman. You don't by any chance require the services of a dashing, strong, yet sensitive dispenser of violence. Why do you think I brought you here? I need to get into this shrine, but its current inhabitants are not agreeable. Do you think you could help me destroy the dead ones inside? Please marry me. It's right this way. I don't like this. I know you're a monk, so you can be forgiven for not noticing this, but she is very attractive. Yeah, I have to disagree there. I don't really see what you're seeing. So you'll just do whatever she says? Um, yep. Good old slag. Doesn't think about anything. And so, welcome to this... Because you'll notice the new lady apparently has the exact same powers as Ezra. Ooh, mysterious. And I really don't know what to do with this stage. And I don't like that I have to separate the two of these, considering he's just a healer, but I gotta attack both ends. So away we go. Fortunately, I don't have to worry too much about the rest of the team, I guess. You know, plenty of magic, so off we go. Hoping for the best. Slag's pretty much got things handled over here, but unfortunately, again, Yendel, just kind of a white mage. He doesn't really attack stuff. Or not very strongly, anyway. He is able to work his magic on the shadow guys, though, which, unfortunately, Slag cannot do the same. What with their high evasion and such, but fortunately that's where I come in. I can just zap the crap out of everything. Whoa there, wormies. Slow that roll. So fortunately we are able to get plenty enough magic that I can just kind of stay active. Just keep zapping the crap out of everything. It's a bit of mouse spam to be honest, but it's nice to be needed in a fight. No you don't, wormy. Say it with the... Higher levels, like advanced or especially... Whoa... Pause. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Didn't need to pause, I could have just slowed it down. Wow. Times one speed. Normal speed feels so slow for some reason. But yeah, I think it was expert mode. You get water crossers. That's a nightmare. Because that means if they would just have, like, these two sides would just have a straight shot to her. How are you supposed to handle that? 
Because there are strong enemies that are able to cross the water. Even if you had extra recruits, that's again a short distance. Without a lot of places to put them. Very curious about that. Because again, I think I mentioned it a couple episodes ago, maybe. I don't think that I ever beat the game on plus mode, or if I did, it wasn't without the help of extra recruits. So I'm curious how I would go about managing with just the base crew with some of this stuff. Not that I'm not willing to try, it's just going to be difficult. Alright, we're down to the wormies. Which means... Which means... Which means... Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it! It's a good old-fashioned worm barbecue. Oh. Okie dokie, then. Just all at once, everything's dead. And here we go. Cool. And question mark survived. Wait, I know these ruins. Who are you? How did you bring us here? I know another woman who can do similar things, but nothing like this. You know Azra Livbar? Of course. I should have sensed it. If... No. No, too dangerous. How do you know Azra? Ow. Painful. With a line, you forget. That is very bright. She needs to stop that. What? I... What was I saying? Two whole days without any violence. I can feel my murder muscles atrophying. You could perhaps spend some of this time in peaceful contemplation. Peace is what's killing me. Well, we're back from the Covenant. It was... Never leave me again. Poor guy. Lives for combat. All of the peace is doing him in. And we met a very mysterious lady. I'm sure we'll never see her again. So yeah, we've done that now. So let's go see what's up here. Should have plenty of time. Guard hideout. That's where we meet Ed. Or where he used to live. Talk! What say you? Hey, bad guys. Any of you guys out there? No. No? Good. Okay, we're done. Let's go eat. Would be funny if that was it. Just that simple little cutscene. Nothing else. Yeah, that's not how standing on guard duty works. Oh, right. I forgot the most important step. Looking good. Hmm. How is that going to help anything? We've got to present an intimidating front. I mean, a weenie like you standing out here would practically encourage people to attack us. Hmm. What was that? Well, it was a very familiar flash, so... I'm going to guess maybe the lady again? It's an entirely new muscle group I discovered. I call them Slagtoids. No, you idiot. That over there. Someone's following us. They must be drawn to the irresistible allure of my rugged manliness. Or they're an enemy spy. Stay here, I'm going to check it out. What? You can't kill things without me. Wait up! Cool! Another duo. Oh, that's a short trip. Cool. Return to the shadows. The mysterious woman returns, abducting Slag and Ed. Poor Slag, he's just getting dragged around all the time, isn't he? See, what do we get in advanced? One doesn't look terrible. Now this looks a little bit more challenging because we get the armored big guys, so let's not do extreme just yet. I will, however, check out advanced mode. Onward! Hello again. Who's that? Identify yourself. Vanish. Oh, well, she's got ninja powers. What the? Oh, no, all of us. Oh, this must be the halfway world, this this weird cave. What are you doing here? What on earth are you? I must have accidentally pulled you with me, but that would mean... Yo. Wonderful. Any other morons you want to bring here while you're at it? How about the Gajillion Revenant outside? What? How did I end up here? No, no, no. It's too early. We've got to escape. You think? We're going to have to fade again. Keep them off of me. Fade? Okay, what are your powers exactly? I know I'm familiar with you, but I seem to be forgetting some things. But okay, here we are. Welcome to this level. 
where we just have these two fellows. And there we go. We're in place. And away we go. And hope for the best, I suppose. Because they are very short range. And anything getting through is... Uh, we're just kind of in for a wait. Fortunately, Ed is able to do the knockback thing and get some extra hits in. And I guess Slag has speed. But yeah, um, practically everything's getting through. And I don't necessarily approve of that. That means that I have to do all the killing. And that means that I don't get nearly as much of the experience. Or, um, magic back, rather. Hmm. Disappointing. Oh, lovely. And of course, all of the armored guys show up on Slag's side first. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's just torch some guys. Get some kind of magics for me. Yeah, this is where he shines. Shattering through all of the armor. Because with his upgrades and all, I think he's maxed out on shattering armor. So, like, one hit, maybe two hits, and blam, their armor is just gone. Die. So close. Oh, so very close. They almost died, but then they didn't. But yeah, you get the levels with this lady. They're usually a little bit more of a challenge going on. Of course, that goes along with plus mode. I suppose everything's more of a challenge. You want to cross the street? You must face the gauntlet. Everything wants you dead. Even the Girl Scouts. They want to sell you cookies of doom. All right, that's about enough of this, all right? Let's just everybody burn. And you two speed up your attacking. And resume. Ah, good old fashioned zombie barbecue. Oh, the fire is not doing nearly as much as I was hoping. I kind of thought it might kill some things. But at least it did help on the making them weak, so there's that. Oh, but there are so many waves going on. Why? What exactly is the situation here? Like, we were accidentally pulled here by her somehow. I'm like, maybe she doesn't have full control over her powers or something. I don't really remember that detail, but suddenly we're just here. Was she already being chased or were these guys, all well, the Revenant, just sort of present and decided to swarm us? Because with everything else, it's like, oh no, we have to go to this place. We have to do this thing. And so you have some idea of where you are, what it is you're doing, whatever. But this place, nope, it's just, oh no, here we are. Things trying to kill us. Many, many, many things trying to kill us. Everybody fry! Favorite day of the week, Friday. And that's fry time you all die. Alright, you two. A little pep in your step. You got a job to do. I can't do everything here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, one shows up, just pop. Dead. Okay, that's enough of that. Cool. So we do still got the two big guys to worry about. So that's a bit of a big deal. And right now, I can't even do anything to them. So that kind of sucks. Oh, 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 oh. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, 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 no. Stop that. <laughs> Gotta love the explosion. Zap, 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 zap. I've got this under control. So yeah, this was very lengthy because you just had the two guys. Of course, if I had extra recruits, I could have just littered the place with them and probably been done a long time ago. And also, if I could have gone beyond times two speed. But with so many things just getting by the two of them. It gets a little bit tricky. You can't just leave them to their own devices like with some of the other levels. Yeah, you're not gonna get anywhere. Ah, oh, there's nothing else that I can do. Okay, fine then. Waiting, waiting, waiting for you to appear. Die! Cool. Question mark survived again. Okay, that's the last of them. Now I think we deserve some answers. 
with a line. Just who are you? And what are you trying to do? How can you travel to the... Vanish. Ah. Oh. Hi. Are we having Ed stew? Oh man, nobody told me he was on the menu. Okay, I expect this kind of idiocy from Slag, but you, Ed? Really? At least now there's something in there that isn't burnt. Hey, just because I don't wolf things down raw... Ezra, you may be good at a lot of things, but you need to admit that I'm better at all of them. Better at getting smacked in the face with a ladle. Oh god, the ladle. Does no one care that I'm standing in a pot of soup? Well, when you put it like that... Yeah, what are you doing there? Besides possibly improving the taste, do I need to demonstrate the strength of my ladle hand? Can't fight, everyone. Can't fight. And where have you been? Oh, Ed and I were kidnapped by the sorceress who was following us for probably sinister reasons, but before we could interrogate her, she escaped. What? Why didn't you tell me? Obviously, Ed was too busy standing in soup to address the important matters at hand. Uh, could I see that ladle for a moment? Fear the ladle. So she drew you into the halfway world just like I can? More than that, she could vanish and reappear in a new location. If I could do that, I sure as heck wouldn't be hanging out in the pit. I think she's looking for something. When we appeared in the strange ruins, she said something about it not being the time yet. Also, she was carrying something. She was trying to carve some sort of symbol into the palm of her hand. No idea what for, but I wasn't going to wait around to see. What was it? I just said, I don't know. It's a little like nomad weapons I've seen before, but the craftsmanship is better than anything coming from the tribes these days. I've seen sketches in the library of things like this. This is ancient. Whoever she is, she possesses a frightening amount of knowledge. We should be on our guard from now on. No kidding. Well, this was enlightening. So, we got to run into the lady not once, but twice, and the second time around, we actually got to keep our memories of things. So things are getting a little bit more interesting now. But, as uh, the only thing left for us is a whole bunch of sheep that I can't really fight that well right now. I'm going to handle that between episodes. But anywho, this has been Defender's Quest, Valley of the Forgotten. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, think of the like button and tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, think of the subscribe button and big thumbs up. I will see you all next time and remember to stay groovy.